St. Elizabeth's East is a 183 acre redevelopment uh, site that was given to the district in 1987 by the federal government. I made a very aggressive plan and schedule to get this project back on track and to deliver all the things from phase one by June of last year, and we were able to do so. Latrina has been one who's been committed from the beginning, truly committed to community development, this community and the people that live within it. She's always been very mindful that community first and making sure that the things that the government is doing in this community um, are community conscious. Whitman Walker and their old facility they were able to serve about 5,000 patients yearly. They've expanded their health care offerings here at St. Elizabeth's East, so they're serving an additional 10,000 patients yearly. We also have Sycamore and Oak, where we are incubating 13 Black-owned businesses from Ward 7 and 8. They're seeing just the nuances of just being business owners, and I think there'll be lessons learned by the time this is over to determine, is brick and mortar what I want, or is an online business something that's probably more um, helpful for me. She's had the great opportunity to sit and talk with residents and I think she's really driven by the, the stories and the personalities and the people who she's gotten to know over the years and wanting to make sure that they are highlighted in the work that she does. Community trust was also a challenge. I remember having my very first meeting and they said you are the sixth executive director what are you going to do any different than any of the other executive directors. And I said, I will commit to you two things, transparency and progress. Parcel by parcel, day by day, I've watched her communicate with neighbors that had not been talked to previously. Her engagement style and her commitment to hearing from community neighbors is very important. I always laugh because Latrina has the ability to walk into a neighborhood bar or a neighborhood school or a neighborhood church and people know her in all three of those venues. It's easier to build bridges than it is to build walls. There's nowhere probably in the country that you see someone who looks like me redeveloping a 183 acre site. It's definitely creating that uh, livable, walkable community that this is probably the first time you'll see this type of neighborhood in Ward 8.